here we go. So for this week, the challenge that I want you guys to do is to go this whole week tracking your food after you made your food. So I don't want you guys to measure anything until after you've consumed it. Meaning I don't want you guys to take out the scale. I don't want you guys to take out the measurements. Like go by look and feel. Once you're done eating or once the meal is cooked, that's when I want you guys to weigh everything and be like, all right, how much did I actually eat? Um, and the goal with this whole week we're doing this challenge is to see if we develop the sense of knowing what works for our body based off looking at the food. Um, now, I'm not saying that you guys need to be spot on, like, oh, I hit my calories right on the dot, but more so, like, are you able to eat healthy without it being a stressful task? Yeah. Meaning that we're not scrambling to find a scale, like, oh, crap, I over ate by seven ounces. Um, and I want you guys then to journal. Um, and by journaling, um, you know how in Waterfire Rise you can put your meals? Yeah. In that little section, just write down, like, one or two sentences in which you talk about um, how that day of eating felt, meaning it could be like, I didn't measure every, anything and I over ate my protein or under ate my protein by like 10 grams, but I felt really good throughout the day. Or it can be like, um, it was really stressful because I didn't know what I was eating and that caused me to be more stressed and made me feel uncomfortable throughout the whole day. Just stuff like that where you're kind of checking in more so with your, uh, kind of like with your mental state of how yeah. you're feeling. Uh, with your food um, and this is just to ensure that as we are continuing on with the nutrition especially as we're going through the last half of this that we are developing the habits and the mindset that nutrition is not this big scary thing because that's my whole goal with this nutrition program is that we develop a sense that nutrition is an asset not a chore to do um, so for this whole week don't measure anything until after the fact um, and then just journal how you feel with that. Okay. Um, so that way we can kind of see where everyone's at in terms of like um, with nutrition. Because for me personally, it took me like a good maybe month for me to really dial in my nutrition in the sense that like I don't need a scale. I can just be like, oh, I need X, Y, and Z. I know this is going to make me feel good. This is not going to make me feel good. Yeah. Um, so kind of journal that. And then also try to narrow down as to which foods are going to be a placeholder in your day-to-day -day life so it could be like during this nutrition challenge you've developed like the system where if you have yogurt at 11 and then your lunch at one by the time your dinner comes around you're hungry but you're also not starving so just kind of make little little mental notes i don't require you guys to have notes of that but just little mental notes of like oh this feels good this does not feel good oh uh, with that okay cool 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 oh uh, do you have any questions for me madison so far I don't think so. Cool. So um, if you haven't done your measurements, again, uh, and this goes for everyone since I'm talking to the recording, again, yeah. with the measurements, all you guys need to do is go into the back office space. Um, the first coach of the day knows to wipe it down because you guys are participating in the challenge. Uh, so just go to the back. It's going to ask you first to step onto the scale. Step onto the scale. Once it takes your initial weight, it's going to ask you for your four-digit ID code, um, which if you guys forgot what that was, um, on your first print out it has your id code in the top right hand corner you'll type it in again it'll take your measurement again and then it's going to give you a comparison measurement of your first and then your second measurement so there's going to be a little graph at the bottom once you guys have done that please send that uh to me so that way we can chat out on the phone or over a phone call uh just so that way we can kind of have a more data-driven decision as to what to do with your nutrition plan um do you have any questions for you madison um no i did do my in body monday night before we left town okay. um when do i need to do it again um i would say you, you said you did monday night yeah not Can ideal you, i know but <laughs> is there a way for you to, this week to kind of get it in the morning at some point probably yeah, yeah. so just take one in the morning this week and then send them my way just so that we can kind of compare to ask uh what you weigh at night and then what you weigh in the morning Okay. Just to kind of get like a nice little median number to be like, all right, this is your sitting weight um, with that. Okay. I can do that. All right, cool. Um, So then that's going to wrap it up for today. It's a little bit of a short call because just you and me. Um, But everyone that's going to be watching the Zoom call recording, again, I'll be sending out another email with the second uh, Zoom link for next Sunday at nine o'clock. Um, But again, I'm going to have these Zoom calls pre-recorded so you guys can't make it. Don't stress out about it.
All right, Madison, do you have a good day? And then I'll you see too. you uh, during the week. Okay, bye.